The bad news is the results themselves. When Stanley Franks was told he had 1,500 words left to live, his reaction could be said to consist of five distinct stages. Firstly, anger. No! You're wrong! You're wrong! You're wrong! You're wrong! You don't know what you're on about! Talking out your ass. Bastard. Then came despair. <laughs> I don't want to die. Then a terrible thirst. <laughs> a brief half-hearted attempt at suicide. <sighs> and finally, quiet resignation. When he'd finished, the doctor straightened his tie, reunited the skeleton with his tibia, and informed Stanley that the total now stood at 50. He handed Stanley a silver metallic counter and then returned to writing a letter in which he explained to his wife that he was running off with a local oncologist called Patricia. struggling you can call this number thank you doctor 47 Fuck. 46 Stanley wondered how he was going to tell Julia that 46 words should be more than enough to sustain a loving relationship. They'd known each other since school. What more really needed to be said? Plus, she wasn't good with big news. He'd seen that at first hand with the whole Princess Diana episode. In the end, Stanley decided the best thing to do was just not tell her and see how that went. Stanley had worked out that the majority of a relationship, the real grist was spent in silence anyway. 40% of it you slept, then you had eating, brushing your teeth, watching TV, taking the bins out. That left maybe 30% of your day to worry about. found that the best method to fill any potentially awkward silences was a combination of winking, long, meaningful eye contact, and playful punches on the arm. Ow. Every now and again, he would adorn her with exotic and unusual words as if they were precious stones. Words like... Beatitude. Pocritudinous. And occasionally... Soliloquy. However, after a while, Julia had had enough of all the winking, the arm punching, and the staring at her while she slept. The silence began to fill the house, quietly, like a gas leak, until it was eventually broken by the four words that Stanley had been dreading. We need to talk. Stanley went to the place he always went to in times of strife. The woods. Armed with a 12-pack of super-strength Danish lager. There he drank. He drank until language lost all meaning. Verbs, tenses, cases collapsed around him. Grammar dissolved, pronouns prolapsed. Words became strange, guttural noises. <laughs> He drank until he was just another animal heaving and lowing at the midday sun. He bellowed at the trees. He howled at the birds. And still he drank until he had just one word left. Stanley awoke the next day with a start. He thought back to the night before and dimly recalled shouting the word Julia over and over again at a nearby duck, which in retrospect was a real waste.